Tempe police shot a woman they say rammed their patrol units in a stolen car. Well, that woman is in the hospital. Another suspect from the car is in jail and a third is on the run tonight. Sarah Robinson spent the day talking with people in the neighborhood where this happened in Tempe. Sarah. Well, guys, I spoke with several people who live here and they tell me they've never seen anything like this before. They describe this apartment complex as quiet and friendly, a place they never expected to see helicopters circling over their homes as they're trying to fall asleep. Honestly, it's a very quiet neighborhood and honestly, I wouldn't suspect anything like this to ever happen. Jamie York describes her apartment complex at Priest and Baseline Roads as safe and friendly, but last night it was anything but. I heard shots before. I, I heard them last night. I just didn't think that's what they were. According to Tempe police, officers were tracking a stolen car. When confronted by police, a man driving the vehicle fled on foot. That's when things got chaotic. The passenger refused to comply with the police commands. The passenger then got into the driver's seat and ran police vehicles, placing officers in danger. Officers then engaged and shot the driver. Officers say the woman who was in the passenger seat is now in serious condition, but the search for the man is still ongoing. We started seeing like searchlights. It was it was crazy. Two three minutes later, we started like feeling the chopper, not just hearing it, but feeling it because it's legit right above us. Officers say there is no threat to the public at this time, but for those living here or visiting, like Troy McGathan, they're still processing what they saw in their apartment complex. It was honestly a very big surprise that it happened here, though, because I visit here quite often and it's really quiet. It's actually like kind of a getaway. Now, Tempe police tell me there were no officers injured during this incident. There was a third person in the back of that stolen car. They have been detained now as well. And guys, it is worth noting about 10 minutes ago, there was a heavy police presence here. It did clear out quickly. At this time, it is unclear if that presence was related to the incident that happened last night. Live in Tempe, I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Family. Sarah, thanks very much. We have